Hello, it's Friday. All right, let's see who's here today. We have our friend Hershey. We have Pigeon. And now we have, oh, Matilda, Gerald and Piggy. Okay, today, we are going to read a book called Mother Goose. No, 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 no. Not Mother Goose. It's Mother Bruce. Hmm. What do you think that could be about? A mother? Or maybe a bear? Hmm. Let's find out. Mother Bruce. was a bear who lived all by himself. He was a grump. Kind of like Miss Burke when she first wakes up. I'm a grump. Mm, a grump. Okay. He did not like rain. He did not like sunny days either. He did not like cute little animals. Bruce only liked one thing, eggs. He collected them from all over the forest. Good morning, Mrs. Sparrow. But Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. Oh, do any of you guys like to eat eggs? Hmm. Hmm. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled eggs drizzled with honey salmon sauce. <gasps> oh, bears like honey and bears like salmon. Hmm. So, he went out to get the ingredients. Now, remember what ingredients are. They are just the things you need to make the recipe. First, he caught a few salmon. Then he collected honey from a local beehive. He liked to support local business, you see. Later, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest to pay her a visit. Are these eggs free range organic? Hmm. I don't know if she wants to give up her eggs though. I bet those bees were mad. Oh. At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling. But the fire in his stove fizzled, so he went out to get more wood. When Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcome surprise. What do you think his surprise could be? Hmm. Hmm. Goldilocks? Hmm, probably not. Bruce became the victim of mistaken identity. Oh my goodness, the eggs hatched. Oh, they didn't cook. What do those babies think? They think, they think Bruce is their mama. Oh my goodness. Bruce wanted hard boiled eggs, not goslings. He supposed he could settle for buttered goslings on toast. But for some reason, he lost his appetite. He did. He lost his appetite. He doesn't want to eat those goslings. Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped, 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 stomped back to their nest. I will have to ask Mrs. Goose about her return policy only to find Mrs. Goose had flown south early. And she's got a note here. It says, be back in April. Bruce left the goslings there anyway and went back home. Oh, their mama's not there. And he left them there all by themselves. 
Hmm. Mama! Mama! But he was followed. Bruce was very stern and said things, Go away! And I am not your mother! And also, I liked you better when you were eggs. Mm -hmm. Bruce could take it no longer, became extra grumpy with them. Roar! It didn't work. Goslings always follow their mother, even if she is a he. And he is a bear. Boom, 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 boom. They're following him. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Bruce was stuck with them. He tried to make the best of it. <laughs> oh, he looks so funny with his ring around him. Oh. <laughs> it was hard work. Blech. Yeah. They've made a mess. As the seasons passed, Bruce watched the pesky goslings grow older. Annoying baby geese, stubborn teenage geese, boring adult geese. Then one fall afternoon, he saw other goose families flying south. Finally, he'd be rid of these geese. And he could take a long winter nap. Bruce explained migration. You gotta fly. But they didn't listen. listening. They just decided to put some coats on. Bruce needed the geese to leave, so he got creative. Oh my goodness! He's gonna shoot him in the... Oh my gosh! It's like a slingshot! Nothing worked. The geese would not leave Bruce. They just wouldn't. So Bruce decided to pack some bags and take his geese into town. They boarded a bus. And migrated to Miami. You guys know what migrated means? Logan, do you? Victoria? Cody, do you know what migrated means? Come on, Spencer. I know you know what migrated means. Yep, they just moved. Now every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They laze about the beach in tacky shirts, slipping ice cold lemonade while Bruce dreams of new recipes. Recipes that don't hatch. Oh my gosh, look at that. A turtle thinks one of the goose is his mama. Oh my goodness. Ay, ay, What? That was pretty good. Do you think Bruce 
is still grumpy at the end? I don't think so. I think he loves those keys now. He didn't get rid of them, and he stayed with them, and he just moved with them. All right, it's been a great Friday read. I want you to have a fabulous spring break. Maybe you could put in a garden at your house. Now, a garden can be something as simple as a little planter and plant some seeds in it. Try it. And then if you bring it here, we'll put it in our big garden, okay? All right. Have a good spring break. Miss Brooke's going to miss you. I'll see you when we come back. Bye-bye.